For this video, we return to Raymond Cemetery for some training. I will also be conducting my own experiment on my investigators tonight. The first group going in tonight will be Giselle, Noah, and me. We will be conducting a spirit box session. Is there anybody here with us that wants to talk? There you go, can you do that again? It's picking up a point three. Four point one? Wow. There should be no reason why that's going up like that, getting spikes. What's your name? What's that? What's that? What did you say? I kept getting the name Robert. Robert. And Robert claimed to be, I think, a 10-year-old boy. But again, I'm not too too sure. But whenever I come over here and I call it Robert, it seems to interact with us. So, Hey, Robert, you want me to fix your cross for you? It's hard to step all over your Hey, Robert, do you not want to talk to us today? Robert, do you not want to talk to us today? Hey Robert, do you not want to talk to us today? Which one? Yeah. The furthest one? Yeah. Who's up in the tree? Are you seeing something moving up there or are you just hearing shit? That should be picking up nothing over here. There's no power lines. There's, I mean, we're all standing pretty far from it. So if it's picking up anything, it's unexplained. Or past paranormal. The second group going in tonight will be Nathan, Matthew, and Noah. They will also be conducting a spirit box session. The whole thing. Huh? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, that's the tree. Is anybody here? Go. 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 What did you tell us? To go? To go? Do you want us to go? Do you like us here? What's your name? Danny? Dean? Dean? Danny? Dean? Dean? I sound like Jimmy, to be honest. What was your name? Jimmy. Are we too close? How many people are there? How many people are we talking to tonight? 
We're not people of spirits. Clear. Okay, Robert, we're gonna go now. Is that okay? We're gonna move around. We might be back. Okay, we're gonna walk around. We'll be back for you. Yeah. It's cold. It is cold. Okay. If someone's here right now with us, can you give us a sign? Maybe flicker the light on one of these devices. Or act you can actually communicate with us through this box. Is anybody here? Is anyone here? Robert. It's Robert. It's Robert? It's Robert? Hey Robert, what are you doing over here? Is it okay for us to be here asking these questions? Do you want us to leave? Okay, we're gonna leave now, okay? Okay. 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 Goodbye. See that? A little bit. All right, we're gonna try this one more time. Just a little quick one. All right, is anybody here with this? Any anyone here with this right now? Say thank you. That's what I thought. I was say. Very kind. <laughs> Very kind. I told you I was gonna come back to check on you. All right, we're gonna we're gonna head out, okay? What was that? Or no stay. What do you want us to talk about? What do you want to talk about? Okay, we're gonna head out now, okay? Okay, goodbye. We'll be back again, Robert. So either they do or they don't. <laughs> Maybe some people just don't like to be talked to. Some people do like to be talked to, you know? Yeah. Careful, watch your stuff. The third group for tonight is Gwyneth, Zala, and Noah. They were supposed to be conducting an EVP session, but instead, they wanted to be clowns. Oh, look at the bunnies! Go grab one. Oh, that's so Come on, friend. They don't like you. <laughs> You're not cold? No, I'm cold. I'm just like big, you know, I'm a big body. I'm always getting touched. Robert, you like being out here? <laughs> what do you think? I don't know if he likes it. Well, maybe? What if he likes nature? And for the last group of the night, Gwyneth, Noah, and me. Immediately upon entering, Gwyneth is attracted by the trees. She walks over and begins taking pictures of both of them. She later stated to me, that she felt like the trees were calling her. She stated the trees gave her a weird vibe. And if you recall from earlier, almost every single group tonight had some sort of experience with the trees. Which one? The furthest one? We cannot say that these strange that sounds that come from the trees are paranormal. It could be birds, bugs, or maybe even the wind. But the energy that resonates off these trees is something unearthly. Blue. Huh? 
How many spirits are in the cemetery with us? Where's the safe tree? Where's the safe tree? Do you want Nathan to come back? Everybody else wants to try talking to us? Hola? Hola? Hola, como estas? Who wants flowers? Who wants flowers? What do you think happens after we die? I don't know. What do you think happens after we die? I don't know. What do you think happens after we die? I don't know. I think some people have certain paths and others. Gwen F, did you cough? Did you sneeze? I swear, I heard This no was an amazing capture. Was Just feet away to my left, it sounded like a person sneezed. Noah was to my right, and Gwyneth was feet away directly in front of me, as you see in this picture that was taken just around the same time. What do you think happens after we die? This will be the second time I heard a disembodied sound with my own ears at Raymond Cemetery. The last time was back in 2019, when I heard a voice of a little girl tell me, Don't hurt me. Did you hear that? If somebody sneezes, bless you. And the between is, what, here on Earth? Yeah. Huh? yeah. That's what I believe. That's, I, that's what I believe ghosts are. People who didn't move on, who are stuck in the, you know, in between. And of course, spirits are the ones who have crossed over to the higher planes, or whatever you want to call it. That's why we do this stuff to get answers. To get answers. To get answers. Is there anybody that's stuck here that can't move on? Approximately three minutes in, the strange flash of light is spotted right next to the bear. We can say with certainty that this is not a bug. Could this be energy trying to manifest to interact with the bear? Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Raymond Cemetery. This place does not disappoint us. I can always rely on Raymond Cemetery for delivering hardcore proof of the paranormal. From murder victims to unmarked graves. Energy surrounding this 117 year old Pioneer Cemetery is unlike any other cemetery. If you've been to this place and felt the energy, you'll know. Raymond Cemetery is a highly active cemetery, and for that, it will always be one of my favorites. She's freaking out. No, I don't hear. I think Giselle's possessed. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, tell him to shut up. <laughs>